Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had uh, just dealt with, well, just talked with, Dala, uh, Dr. Zero, there we go, and a little bit with Klein, just to discover about the people who were here before us. And now we're going to help him come to terms with his name. Predictable. The lobotomite specimen returns. Its purpose? Repetition. Chances of success? High. Generally, yeah. I wanted to talk to you about your name. What about it? I don't feel like arguing it with you too. Well, if you wanted to differentiate between the O and zero, just put a slash through the zero. What? Zero. Draw a slash through it. <laughs> Not that hard to understand. It's standard term link code to distinguish the two. Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant! I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion... Eventually. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. So, is that what you want to be? <laughs> exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. O is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Well, there's power in zero. It reduces anything multiplied against it to zero. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. Uh huh. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? Yep. I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. Mm -hmm. To make a zero in all the think tank, they won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. Pretty much, yeah. So, Zero, got any amazing discoveries to share? You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. Uh... As for discoveries, well, of course! Look at this! Just, uh, built it! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is interesting, whatever it once was. You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors, and those innards start falling out everywhere. <clears throat> If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. What do you do here? All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. Uh -huh. See a broken robot? I made it that way. Uh -huh. He constructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. Yeah. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. That doesn't sound really impressive, though. Breaking machines, that is. Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around. Oh, I can usually fix that myself pretty well. Like, really easily. Tell me about Mobius and these monsters of his. That genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Painted them? Try to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every time. Well, if you Supposedly, back up Supposedly, he has even larger models. Even a giant robot scorpion hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters, sure. A giant robot scorpion. Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? I'm betting pretty high, because I've seen a lot of giant monsters in my day. Okay, I think we've spoken long enough for this Until point. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Yeah, the way I managed to have my intelligence up that high is I'm wearing Dr. Klein's scrubs. I neglected to mention that before. Uh, swap back to... Uh, where... Yeah, Joshua Graham's armor, and we're good. I'll just dump these back off in the sink before I go off to grab more stuff within the big mountain. Empty crater thing. Okay. Let's head over here. Oh, there we go. Right here. And, uh, peril. Drop that. There we go. 
All good. Is there anything else I can do with this? Nope. How about this? Ah, I can do some things. That's energy cell, microfusion cell. Um, hmm. PCP to S. Hmm. Can't really do anything else really with it. Energy cell overcharge. There we go. That'll work. And a little extra on that. It's just one, but hey. Or was it two? Wasn't really paying attention. Anyway. Time to go onwards. Actually, I don't think I can even jump out from the balcony. Even if I tried. With that force field down and everything. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. See? Nothing. Hmm. So, what was the purpose of it then? Just to look fancy and blue? That's weird. Anyway. Wait, what What are we doing next? Influencing people still? Uh, where is it? Oh, we have to go back to X13. Okay. And still get some more upgrades while we're doing that. Alright, we can do that. I think. Maybe. And there's a big old monster thing we still need to face. Eventually. I'm just hoping it doesn't take too long when I find it. Because <laughs> it's an evil little shit. Okay. And we're good. Oh, this is a locked door. Oh, come on. Let me get in there. God damn it. That's not really wanting me to be in here. There we go. Haha. -ha. I just opened it, and there was basically nothing. Someone betting on chess, or checkers. That's not entirely normal. It's an electrical box. Hey, some good stuff. What's in this one? Scrap metal. Still good stuff. Look, what is this? More cash? Holy shit, this guy was rolling in it. The other guy must have sucked. Yep. Equal amount of cash. I've never actually seen the cash there, so I'm kind of surprised to find it now. Okay, let's take all that scrap metal, because we can use all of this. Every single bit of it. Uh, duct tape and wrench, we can use that too. Alright. Now, prototype X13 gloves. That's one part of the uh, thing for this particular place. It's a damaged prototype. Yeah, this is this stuff looks nothing like what the uh, gloves turned out to be. That's for sure. Looks nothing like. Oh, research terminal. What's going on here? Field gun prototype. We've, sec <coughs> We've successfully created a capacitance module capable of emitting a focused electromagnetic pulse from a sonic emitter. While the physical impact is rather weak, Jenkins fired the weapon at a force field and it fried the field's emitter array. Upon further study, we found the gun only affects a small range of frequencies. Unfortunately, the frequency of our force fields fall within this range. The gun was sent to X8 for further study. And now we have it. Alright, and the MK2 glove research. I've been working with Mori on fitting the gloves to the torso and come up with a few improvements which should greatly enhance the user's manual dexterity. I have... What is that? I could barely read. My brain went... Ugh. I adapted Redding's new rubberized dampening compound and applied it to the palms and other high wear surfaces. Surfaces. Ugh. My tongue's starting to die on me. I do apologize. Once the suit adjusts to the user, the benefits of these upgrades should be obvious. Alrighty. Sounds good to me. Sonic emitter notice. I already have it. I don't need a notice for it. And these are the prototype boots. These are the original prototype boots. And they look like crap. Whoop. Mentats wore off. Ah, there we go. Pick up the wrench. Let me pick up the wrench. There we go. There's a thing here. Let's look at this. Uh, the boot research. 
Researcher Kale's breakthrough with the suit software has led me to a breakthrough of my own. By adding an advanced servo buffer to the existing leg rigs, I've been able to increase the resolution of data sent to and from the central control module. Once these babies are hooked up to the torso, an agent should be able to limbo under barriers, under barriers almost as fast as they can run. That'll be something. So that would increase the sneak speed. Definitely. Pick that up. Uh, Pre-war books. Thick red paste. How can I turn that up? And thin red paste. Again, how can I turn that up? It's good shit. And I don't even know what I can do with these bad boys here. Okay, what? That's a damaged prototype. It was thrown in the trash because it was shit. Okay, what's in these boxes? Hmm, nothing. Uh, ooh. Mug. Muggy, muggy, mug. And this is the torso, I guess. Let's see what we can grab out of here before we do anything else. No, I can't get into those boxes. Research terminal. Okay, for the torso research. I've uploaded Kale's latest firmware update to the suit. I think Kale has outdone herself this time. Self-updating firmware is an ingenious addition to this system. As we upgrade the suit, it'll automatically adapt the new systems to the user's specifications during testing and unlock the features as they come online. This will save hundreds of hours of fiddling with settings. Note to self, make Kale a, cage of, a keg of my infamous battle brew. Well, that sounds delicious. I want to try it. Pick that up and cobble it all together to make the experimental stealth suit. The Oral Stealth Suit. Not only can it be upgraded through testing in X13, it also has medics and stim pack reserves for all of your pain dampening needs. Medics and stim packs not included. <laughs> medics and stim packs sold separately. <laughs> uh, that's a thing. Anyway, it kind of falls within medium armor, so we're probably not going to wear it regularly. On top of the fact that our D damage threshold, I was going to say DT, is higher with this one than it is with the stealth suit. And going to, I think, what was I going to do? Oh yeah! Read that book that we just got. Increase sneak by three. Fuck yeah. And these are all the damaged prototypes and they were not great, apparently. Alright. Oh. Oh my. That's not a good sign. Now, what is in here? Hmm. Oh, what's here? Terminal. That's an irradiated sunset sarsaparilla. That's something else. I'll take the stealth boy, though. There we go. Kudos. Kudos for the bean pod edition for the VR sim. Bean pod. For the VR sim. Okay. I like the Jack and the Beanstalk reference, buddy. I hope Callus doesn't throw a fit. Watch your back with that guy. He's always been more than a bit wound up about simple stuff. I had to move my battle brew setup over to X-12 storage room after he threw a prohibitionist fit about it to the leads. <laughs> okay, then. Test subject observations. Yes, yes, run the test if it'll keep you out of my way. I'm going back down to the cages to see if a nudge from... See if a nudge from a prod... Will trigger, trigger their abilities. Will trigger them. The wonderful thing about tears. <laughs> okay. The other project leads will be able, will be stopping by in a few days, and we must be able to show them progress. There we go. Uh. Why the hell do you keep sending me these damn messages? You work right across the damn ramp from me. Walk your ass over here and say what you need to say. Stop wasting my time with these incessant messages. And this is about the field gun prototype. Yeah, there we go. All the same stuff. Okay. What is in... Huh? Locked door hard. Alrighty. See if we can get in here. There we go. Um. There was no loading screen for this. Um... Um. Uh. The 
the fuck is this? There's two dead skeletons and a proton inversal axe in one of them. And a batch of psycho. Jesus, what the hell happened here? Guess that's the design for the axe. That's a box. Okay, what is this a note? That's yeah, a VR simulation note. That's in my notes, so now I gotta go over there to read it. With my dying breath, I write that I hate the VR simulation so much it has killed us. Now I will kill it. Okay. Let's look through all of these first before I forget. Oh, I didn't even put Light Switch 2's upgrade in there yet. I feel stupid now. And a lot of these are unnecessary to look at, so I'm not going to bother anymore. Yeah, this is broken. What is this? A stealth... What? I can't even read that. Stealth test area 2. Okay. It was just my light that made it difficult. That, that load, no loading screen here is kind of jarring. Okay. Now, what shall we do with everything else around here? This is, yeah, this is just a regular Sarsaparilla. Why is that one irradiated then? Is that why Callus was such a little shit? Hmm. Scrap electronics. Nope, nothing there. And I'll take these. Nothing in here. Oh. That's an arm. That's a foot. Yeah, that's an ankle. So that's a foot. Oh, shit. And where's this other computer? Oh, that's a research terminal. Okay. So, yeah, this would be right across the ramp from him. So he's not exactly wrong. Night Stalker Research. I believe this latest serum has proven to be a success. Under human observation, the creatures remain visible, but some of the nighttime recordings reveal the serum is working. The animals appear to be learning how to use their new cloaking ability when no one is around. Perhaps there is a physical limitation or some mental drawback to the ability, which prevents its usage under duress. I think it will pursue stress testing of the animals first thing Monday morning. That'll be a thing. Server Sniffer. The VR sim is corrupted? Damn it! Sounds like there's a bug in the software somewhere. I hope to God it doesn't screw with the suit systems. I just got to the firmware. Up I just got the firmware updated from Wario over the weekend. For now, let's just tell Callus we're having power issues and focus on the rep contests until we get the suit ready for real-world tests. P.S. Delete this message ASAP. I don't want Callus harassing me over this. Fair enough. X13 shipment notice. Your shipment of cattle prods arrived today. I'd like to remind you our systems are designed to prevent infiltration by enemy agents, not internal threats. If you're doing any testing on creatures, please forward that task to the animal testing facility. As you found with the sonic emitter, our force fields can't handle power fluctuations well. Base security. Okay then. Test subject observations. This is the one that was sent to Callus. I've noticed some of the creatures have been increasingly aggressive when I come into the lab in the morning. Did something change in their diet? I'll run some tests if you like. Assistant Paris. Okay. And their response to his response. I went ahead and did the lab test and noticed no appreciable changes in their blood work. I'm concerned with our use of the cattle prods may react with the chemistry of the injections. This is new ground we're treading. I'd hate to see your hard work lost to a change in brain chemistry. These critters could be invaluable to the war effort we could somehow control their behavior. And then they ended up going completely feral and started killing everyone in sight. Oh, I noticed a wrench. There we go. Also, Nuka-Cola Victory and Nuka-Cola in general. Cool shit. Oh, deluxe chemistry set. Hmm. Uh, let's make some drugs just because having some backup ones ain't too bad. And next one we'll make stim packs for. That's a damaged prototype headpiece, but they never instituted a headpiece for this armor. So I don't think they did. Did they? I don't remember them doing that. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? Um. Stimpak reserves adequate. I hope so. 
We're okay on medics, until we have to numb the pain. What do you mean, numb the pain? Who do you think is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Neither, they're brains in jars. The hell are you talking about? I'm just looking through all this stuff just before I start doing any testing with this thing. But this thing's already starting to creep me out a little bit. Like, quite a bit. Uh, we might as well go downstairs and figure out what's going on down there. But I think we'll do that in the next episode. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. Take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. Decide whether or not you want to support me in making more videos for you guys. Or not. It's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games for you.